hello everyone welcome to my channel today in this video we'll be proving we will be showing that in the group the set z4 which consists of elements 0 1 2 3 is a group with respect to addition modulo 4 so we'll be taking the help of kelly table so we have seen in previous videos how to construct a Kelly table so in order to construct a Kelly table we'll have to place the binary operations here and we will be placing the elements of the set in the horizontal as well as vertical so we will have to take on the binary operation since it is addition modulo 4, first we will add it 0 plus 0 which is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 0 plus 2 is 2 0 plus 3 is 3 similarly we will do it for this 0 plus 1 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 1 plus 2 is 3 1 plus 3 is 4 since it is addition modulo 4, we have to divide it by 4 so, 1 plus 3 is 4, we will be dividing it with 4, which means the remainder will be 0. We will be doing it, same, similarly we will doing it for this, 2 plus 0 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 2 is 4, so the remainder will be 0. Then. 2 plus 3 is 5 so if we divide 5 by 4 we'll have the remainder 1 similarly we'll do it for this one too 3 plus 0 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 which will which has which will have the remainder 0 and then 3 plus 2 which is 5 if we divide 5 by 4 then the remainder will be 1 and 3 plus 3 is 6 if we divide 6 by 4 the remainder will be 2 so we will, one by one we'll be checking the properties first we will check closure property we will see we, we will we have to notice that all the elements of the Kelly table are from the set itself so we can see that it follows closure property Secondly, we will be see, checking the second property which is associativity. We will take any two elements. Suppose we take 0, 1 and 2 from Z4. Then so if we add 0 and 1 the result is 1 and if we add 1 plus 2 it will be 3 so here too if we add 1 and 2 3 plus 0 3 therefore it follows associativity similarly we, we can check it for all elements using the Kelly table so we can see it here if we add 1 and 0 the result is 1 
then if we add 1 and 2 again it will be 3 which will be same as if we add first add 1 and 2 which is 3 and if we add 3 and 0 it will be 3 so it follows associative property now we will be checking the existence of identity so from here we can see that if we add 0 with any number the result is the number itself so here in this case 1 is the identity element Fruitly we will be checking existence of inverse first of all since the additive identity the identity element is 0 we will check, we'll be checking it 0 is the inverse of 0 of 0 sorry 0 will be the identity element so for 1 we'll, we will notice that for 1 the, identity, the inverse element is 3 and vice versa then for 2 we will be checking for 2 the identity element is 2 itself now let's check it once you don't have to show it in your exam but just we will be checking if we add 0 plus 0 it is 0 which is identity element and if we add 3 plus 1 which will be 4 and if we divide it by 4 the remainder is 0 so if we add 2 and 2 4 if you divide it by 4, it will be 0, and therefore, therefore, with addition modulo of 4, is a group. Thank you.